All right, Richard, here's your 132nd scale uh, Ford Crown Vic uh, police car. This is uh, one of the Jada Hero Patrol cars. Decaled from the factory of the uh, city of Kingston, uh, New York, uh, police department. Uh, did the light bar swap on you. Uh, you wanted red and blue lights on this. Uh, for those viewers watching this, uh, this customer lives in Australia, so he's mainly, he's more concerned about the look of the car, red and blue lights, like the look of the... Uh, two-tone police car, so the city didn't really matter. So if you're wondering, well, why does it have a red and blue light instead of two reds? That's why. That's what my customer asked for. Um, to give it a more traditional look. Now with this, uh, we looked at the uh, uh, different videos, so you know the lighting set up on this. Uh, headlight strobes, red and blue strobe light bar, and then also tail light strobes. When I add a couple of antennas on there, I'll include those in a little bag. They'll be uh, stapled inside the box there when you pull the car out on the little tray it sits on you'll see those stapled to the back as for uh, the switch uh, this right here on the bottom hit this the first time uh, it's going to start cycling through the different patterns uh, and you see the simultaneous flash and a couple of different strobe patterns as well uh, headlights light bar and tail lights all on the same uh, setup if you hit this again You'll see, of course, my camera doesn't catch all the flashes, but um, just a single flash, uh, like a strobe wigwag type pattern there. Hit this again, it's going to give you a uh, simultaneous flash where all the LEDs are flashing at once. And the second time will be like a double strobe. Uh, each side will hit twice, and then it'll alternate to the other side. And, of course, like I said, the tail lights and light bar follow the same patterns on that. Hit this again, it's going to turn it completely off. And then of course one more press goes uh, goes to the automatic patterns. Uh, this is powered by three AG13 watch batteries. They're located in the trunk. All you need to do is take this screw and this screw out. And then there's a small uh, screw holding those uh, uh, little lid on the battery holder. Excuse me. And you'll just have to uh, uh, take that screw out and replace the batteries. I'll leave these in here and also uh, add a couple sets to the box so you'll have uh, batteries for it when you can get it so you can put it on your race set or stock car set. So there you have it. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry about the wait. I'll uh, we'll get this taken or get it shipped out to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much.